That was on your bedroom wall, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and this is a Sellers? Yeah. You see, I'm going to be selfish. I want that one. That's fine by me. <laughs> <laughs> going back, Dad, what do you think um, were some of the main memories of me starting to go down the science engineering route? It's the environment. If you recall, we weren't allowed to be inside. It was outside <laughs> doing stuff. Plan International's findings show that 27% of schoolgirls worry about being good enough to study STEM subjects, which is a difficult number. I've definitely noticed like when going to schools and talking to students, both primary schools and secondary schools, when they were younger, you would speak to girls and they would talk about how they would want to be an astronaut, they wanted to create a cure for cancer and things like that. But okay. then moving into secondary school, yeah. age 11, yeah. 12, huge shift. It disappeared. Shift, huge shift. What could we be doing to encourage more girls into this, this? I think, I think it does stem a lot from the parents, as much as it pains me to give you this credit. <laughs> I think it stems a lot from the parents and the kind of, yes, the upbringing, but then the environment at home. If you change the way stereotypes of society are talking about STEM people, talking about careers in that sector, I think that would be a huge, huge change.